Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Attila Pinky, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that there is now a record sale for NFT uh, this month. 900 million US dollar sale in NFT. This is, I think, very significant. Okay, second thing I want to talk about is that the government of Cuba says it will recognize, regulate cryptocurrencies. So this could be a great future for crypto in Cuba. And then we have the third one, major hotel in the Swiss Alp now allows crypto payments. So another company which is saying, okay, you can pay me in crypto. No problem. Guys, all this in today's video. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, but you are really interested in blockchain and cryptocurrency news, you're getting them here every weekday. So subscribe to a button all, that's the only thing you have to do. And then, you know, you're getting the notifications as soon as a new video is out. And also like this content, you know, uh, hit the like button because then uh, this content can spread even better because uh, this is how YouTube algorithm works. And check out the links under the video. Very uh, useful links. Also a free course, how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Check it out. And now let's move on to the market. Let's see, because the dump, which has actually started, it's not continuing. So right now, 47,635 US dollars Bitcoin, which is a 1.5% increase, not the big one, but like it's coming back a little bit in the last 24 hours. Ethereum went up 2.3%. Right now, 3,166 US dollars. You can see also Cardano going up 6%. And when you're looking at the top gainers, we see R Wave 29, Celo 28, Solana again another 22, so doing very good. And when you're looking at the losers, you can see Quantum minus 5, Dash minus 4, and then MDX minus 4, and not any big ones. So today actually looks uh, better, and we had like two days when actually prices started to dub drop just slightly so no major pullback or correction and yes now we can see here uh bitcoin you know we 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 crossed this line i drew here this trend line and uh, yeah this was a kind of danger zone but today we have a green candle and we'll see where this green candle will close because actually it's looking good so far it's going up if this will, you know, break and going even more down, then we have a chance to even go lower. You know, I've talked about this 42,000 level, even here, here, about here, a couple of support. And um, yes, it can, but, but now look, we have higher highs, higher lows, as you can see here. And if it's turning back now, with, and this would be the only uh, pullback, yes, it can happen, of course. It would be great, but sooner or later, there should be actually a bigger one, like a good 20, 30% uh, as we have experienced. If you just look back here, you know, here in the past, we had a couple of them and this was the same back in 2017. So sooner or later, we need bigger pullbacks, but so far we haven't really experienced them. So this, you know, above 50,000, 51,000, it would be crucial to go. But now let's see how this is holding. Now we're still above the 200 day moving average. This is great. Uh, this is uh, bullish, but was this just a fake out or not? Time will tell. Overall, the news are pretty good in this whole crypto uh, world right now. So yeah, things actually looking positive. In my opinion, when we're judging it from today, we could have a nice end of the year uh numbers put it this way but uh, on the other hand it's still early to say it great so let's move on to the first news and the first one it's all about a uh, record sale in nfts 900 million dollar uh, worth of nft was sold in a month let's talk about that <laughs> So the NFTs are hot. It's not even a question. And now 
Look at these news. Record 900 million month for NFT sales as crypto punks go stratospheric. Almost 400 million has been spent on crypto punks over the past 30 days. So now the the main reason why NFT sales are going up so much is the crypto punks. August is shaping up to be a record month for non-fungible token sales with almost 900 million spent on them over the 30 day, last 30 days. According to data from the tracking uh, portal uh, non-fungible, 896 million has spent on NFTs over the past 30 days. The number is very likely to exceed 900 million by the end of the month, marking a new record uh, for this industry. The number is more than tripled the previous best month for NFT sale, which was back in May, 255 million were sold back then. August has seen sales skyrocket and it has been largely down to CryptoPunks and, of course, Axe Infinity. One of the most expensive ones ever sold, you know, in CryptoPunks was number 7523, a rare alien punk of, uh, wearing a face mask that went for a whooping 11.5 million, you know, in an auction. In June earlier this week, credit card giant, if you remember, Visa also purchased a CryptoPunk NFT around 150,000 uh, US dollar. So you can see that NFTs, yes, they are still, still very hot. People are really interested now in NFTs. CryptoPunks getting now again big. This is actually crazy and a record sale in NFTs. So this is what we have. This is the, our present trend. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is government of Cuba and all about crypto in Cuba in the future. So we have now countries, they are really interest, interested in cryptocurrencies. If you just have to mention, you know, um, El Salvador, for instance, on the 7th of September, you know, uh, Bitcoin will be legal tender in El Salvador. And now we have government of Cuba says it will recognize and regulate cryptocurrencies uh, for payment. So the announcement came in the form of the resolution that said the country's central bank, Banco Central de Cuba will govern how cryptocurrencies, how citizens would be allowed to use cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And, um, you know, if you just talk about it, why Cuba has not uh, explicitly said uh, any cryptocurrencies would become legal tender, what El Salvador said, the announcement does signal a move to incorporate cryptocurrencies into everyday lives and payment the needs of Cubans. Which means now we can see a trend and I'm very curious which countries will join and not saying that many of the countries will, you know, straight away go for legal tender for, for instance, for Bitcoin, but El Salvador did. But definitely countries, not just like companies and, and hedge fund managers, thinking about more and more seriously about cryptocurrencies and come out with regulations and support cryptocurrencies in, in some way, uh, which means their citizens can definitely uh, take an advantage on it. So, and using it for a payment, this is actually a cool thing. And um, yeah, we are on this way for a while. And the number of these countries, of these uh, institutions, banks, you name it, it are just growing day by day, which more and more believe in crypto, uh, accept crypto, and they're saying, okay, they will, will do something with crypto. And this is very useful and helps a lot to crypto to getting mainstream. And another news, major hotel in the Swiss Alps now allows crypto payment. I think it's great to talk about new and new places. Uh, which accept uh, crypto. And now we have, for instance, here, a major hotel in the Swiss Alps allows now crypto payments. And here in this article, you can see that after four years of debate, five-star hotel in a luxurious area of Swiss Alps is prepared to accept Bitcoin and Ether as payment from guests. The price are still uh, seemingly set in fiat, 
to reduce any risk of volatility with the hotel uh, converting any cryptocurrencies received immediately into francs. The hotel's general manager said, in the course of the increasing spread and uh, acceptance of cryptocurrency payments, we are proud to be one of the first Swiss luxury hotels to be able to offer our guests cryptocurrencies as a secure means of payment. And yes, we do know that uh, Switzerland is quite crypto friendly. But still, again, seeing new and new uh, companies saying, okay, we accept crypto payment, it's great to see because we couldn't see all these things many years ago. Back in 2017, that bull market, it was totally different. And now we have this new hype, this new uh, direction. And definitely 2020 and 2021, it's totally different than any other year in crypto. Now we're talking about that crypto is not like a scam and you should like uh, wash it off from the table. We're talking about how to fit it in in our financial system and how to regulate. And this is a totally different thing, which means crypto can stay with us. And uh, if it stays, it can grow. And now we are really the early ones who are in it already. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, smash the like button if you like this kind of content and want this content to spread on YouTube because then, you know, the Google algorithm will help and show it to other people as well. And also, I wish you an amazing weekend. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet because on Monday, I'm coming back with the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Have a good one. Bye-bye.